I just need to position it. So, sorry, about this, guys. I actually, I accidentally started it before I was ready. Oh my. Hi, guys. I won't think. Bring him in. Okay, guys. Today, it's me, Sam, again. And I'm coming at you for another one of my two in one reviews of Scout Class Backstop and Scout Class Undermine. Now, I got these for Family Dollar at $10 each, but it was today, and it was buy one, get one 50% off, so I had to pay $15. So I just have to pay fifteen dollars for my own for my own loans. And um, and um, go anyway. Oh, let me do the back stuff for a sec. Man, sometimes I leave that part out in the transformation. So anyway, these guys do them. Cyber, cyber planky. Sorry if you see my shoe, but sorry if you see my shoe in the picture, but um. I needed to get undermine in vehicle mode and, and whatever it is in beast mode to uh, stand up. So anyway, first I'm going to start with the Autobot. Backstop and backstop is a rhino. This guy, as you might have guessed, this guy, I don't know, he's kind of, uh, he's kind of like bulkhead. The horns. This guy is. And it's kind of guy. Reminds me of Rhinox from Beast Wars. Yeah, Rhinox. So anyway, this is the tail. And this is real. Yeah, this guy's more like um, some kind of Beast Machines version of Rhinox. Yeah, Beast Machines. That's how I would describe this kind of Rhino form. On just have a. And as he is a, a Beast mode, he does get a blue. Cyber Planet Beast Key with the claw symbol. This is, I got. What's already scratched? Undermine also has the one, except it's green. And since he's got M, I don't both have Beast Muds. It's a new one for. But this guy, new in. This will slot in the head. This is the key inlet. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> And, and the horn pops up. It's like a, um, so you can. This this case like a, Cybertronian battle ram, battling ram, battling ram. Man, it's hard to say that. So anyway, I'm gonna slot that back in. So, I'm gonna start with the transformation to robot mode. So my first one, flip that tail in. Then you, pop that out. Pull that out. Yeah, that turns it around. This going, as you see, it does have big claw detail. That's going to become the arm in robot mode. Okay, then pull the legs down and the waist. You need to pull the waist down because you're a short robot, do you? You pull the legs down, snap them together. Then you pull the hand out. Look like that so, uh, and you just all uh, what you can do is to you take the back of this tab, push it, and um, there's backstop in robot mode. So, he, this is him. I know he, he looks real bulky. This kind of guy does resemble, I know, this guy kind of does resemble, not resemble, but he kind of reminds me of, he does re remind me of Rhinox. Cause he's a rhino. This guy, this guy is bulkier, and he would be more in on the action. And this guy would be not too, too gruff, gruff. So yes. So on one hand, it's this giant, free, mm, clawed hand. That's like a giant claw. Then on the other hand, it's a rhino head with the horn. And just a tiny little hand there. And I'm just, anyway, I'm gonna do that again. So that's that will be his weapon. And you can use that to duel. Um, so duel undermine or any other Decepticon. So usually I have this guy up against undermine, but I could get him up against Commander Dreadmine or maybe Commander Megatron if I want to. So anyway, he's 
giant horn, and it's real cool, and it's in real good detail. The Transformer, Hasbro, really did a good job on this figure. Complete with this real Energon power, whatever. Design the legs with with some real cool techno organic detail on there. So this guy is more like a techno organic. I recommend him. It says on the back of the it says on the box that this guy a Ford War was a professional wrestler in the Grand Arena. But but now we can just rip the Septicons. But now we can just rip the Septicons to shreds with his bare hands. He probably he should probably be doing it with the claw right there. So the claw and this this horn saw blade whatever that thing the jigsaw said that's gonna be his weapons, his main weapons. But he could use his bulk and immense strength to help. I think it would probably be a 10 in strength, which I think that's why I don't choose this in the box. So next, we're going to move on to the Decepticon. Undermine. Undermine. I know he is a dinosaur. I don't know what kind he is. He's either a Velociraptor, T-Rex, or Spinosaurus. On the back, on the box, it just says he's a um, dinosaur. This is dinosaur mode. But this guy does have a Decepticon badge right there. Leg. So this is so this is real cool detail, and um, so when and the mouth opens, it opens out all the way, so you can ignore and don't get that. I like what has rid of this. It's a tongue right there, tongue. <laughs> it's is funny. So now I'm gonna start the transformation. First, you start by removing the tail. You know, I can straighten it out like that. It's the jointed tail on a box. It shows him kind of like. This. But anyway, you can um, you take the tail off. So no way, these guys, these guys are rated easy on the box, and I think they deserve that. So you just start by pulling that waist out, and you look a fold up part that. It's like a jetpack or something, but it can be on there. Now you might be wondering, where's the head? What well, head is hidden? Well, you find you have the head. You get the head when you pull the head apart. When you pull the dino head apart. So we pretty much that's him. He's not too impressive, but this guy's a skinny, kind of skinny. But I do like to put him up against backstop, even though this guy is no is no match for him. So anyway, all I can say is. The house of the dino head or his arms and you can or his hands and you can re and they can and you can shoot fire out of them and beast mode you can shoot. And super sharp golden claws right there for ripping Autobots apart, killing them in them. When we when I saw the back box I'm like, dude, these are the eyes, this is the mouth. This is like a tropical parrot. Until I found out found out that these little red slits are the Eyes and this head, this pink, pink part is his head. So, anyway, I'm gonna see why you detach that. Um, that, um, that, um, that, um, tail. Man, why is so to reattach up? The first step in the instructions is just detaching the tail. What the Okay, um, here we go. So anyway, you take that, put it on his Alec opponent's left hand. This is a mace, and one, that's one of his primary weapons, but this thing does fall easily, and once it falls out, it is very, very hard to reattach, I can tell you. I know you have to try, I don't know, two, two, two to four, three to four times just to try and get it in his hand. So anyway, so the weapon I like, I would like to show you is what you get when you when you use the green key. Okay, you attach a slot in the back of his head and this blade pops out. I'm like, dude, how is this supposed to... And sometimes we're like, dude, how is he just supposed to duel people? Oh, oh, how is he supposed to fight with his head? It's impossible. 
So usually I like to put up against backstop. So sometimes I pretend you see these little things here. Those are wheels on his feet. Called called dino wheels. <laughs> I don't have a picture of a rolling dino on him, but we were on with dino wheels on it. Dino wheels on him. So, so um, anyway. I found out this blade actually needs to read it on the bottom. With golden claws on the feet. Yeah, like it just is a jetpack, but then I'm also pretending it can open up and drop bombs. <laughs> on the Autobots. So, anyway, um, this. So, these, bo these are both very cool figures. I really want you to uh, buy these. I do recommend them. I give them five stars each. So, 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 we do have Ace is this very jointed. And he has a so the beast. He has a mace tail. So that, that he can whip that. And he can whip. And I'm trying to get him to actually whip with this. But um, I haven't really gotten much luck. Well, in fact, I haven't even tried yet. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try and get him to whip this. So that's him. And, um, well, thanks for watching this tour and review of, back, of Scout Backstop and Scout Undermine. Bye.